Hey guys. So I am going to drop off a return and go by Nordstrom Rack. And I figured I would bring you guys along. Nothing too exciting. I might go to the drive through Starbucks possibly. But if I do that, I'll do it right before I go home because I have some videos that I need to film today and coffee is always welcome. So the return that I'm doing today is from Revolve Clothing. I once in a while will shop on Revolve if I can find something that is on sale because a lot of their stuff is like $70 for a t-shirt and that's just not, not my budget. It will never be my budget to spend $70 on a t-shirt. But when they have stuff on sale, I can usually find a couple of things. I ordered three sh uh, sleeveless tops and two of them were great and one of them was not. So I'm going to return the one and instead of shipping it back and waiting for UPS to pick it up and all of that, I didn't realize you can do something through, they use happy returns. So with happy returns, what it does is it gives you a QR code and you can go to any location that is a happy returns spot. One of them is world market. So I can go to any world market, drop off this package and they will take care of everything. And it gives you your refund in like the same day, like 24 hours or something, instead of waiting for UPS to deliver it and then the warehouse has to process it. And if I can get my refund in a day instead of like a week, why not? My God, Chick-fil-A is always so busy. Do y'all like Chick-fil-A? Is it just me that thinks that Chick-fil-A is completely overrated? Their milkshakes are good, but aside from that, I mean, their, their fries are good too, but as far as their chicken nuggets and everything else that they have, I just don't really care. I'd rather have Popeyes. It was gloomy when I left the house and now it's sunny. Tomorrow we're supposed to be getting a lot of snow. I mean, not a lot. I think they said four to six inches of snow. So the happy returns thing is pretty cool. It's kind of like um, Amazon, how you can do the quick whatever with Amazon. You can take it to Kohl's. I think you can also, can you take Amazon returns to Whole Foods too? I can't remember. But it's nice to have an expedited way to process your return kind of hopeful that we get a good amount of snow tomorrow, but I never have my hopes really high. Now we go to World Market, then to Nordstrom Rack. Today is very mild. It's kind of hard to believe that we're supposed to get six inches of snow tomorrow. Oh, so yesterday I showed this in a video, this Physician's Formula Mineral Wear Lip Plumper in the shade light pink princess cut and I've been using it since I got it and it's actually really nice. I'm always skeptical of stuff that says lip plumping because I don't really care. It's not that big of a deal to me um, to have something that plumps my lips and usually things that are plumping I associate with being very uncomfortable. And this one though is nice. I like it more because it has those little shimmers in it. Oh my God, that kills me. They're having a, they're having an adoption event at PetSmart. I don't know if it's just cats or dogs too. Oh no, it says cats. I just always feel so bad for animals that need to be adopted cats and dogs but i feel like especially with dogs because dogs are so attached to their owners 
and I realized that, you know, none of us really know the exact reason why a dog has been put up for adoption. Maybe sometimes you'll know the backstory, but it just breaks my heart to see these little guys who have been taken from their owners and put up for adoption. All right, so I'm gonna go in World Market. I might take some clips if I see anything interesting in there, but I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Nothing exciting at World Market. Nothing new that was noteworthy. If you guys want to see more of World Market, I did a video a couple weeks ago where I came over here and I bought some like cookies and some snacks. And in that video, I did a little montage of some of the like quirky stuff that they have. So if you are interested, go and watch that video. I'll link it down below so it's easy for you guys to find. You know what I cannot stand? This asshole just did it right now. When, when you're walking with your dog and they stop to sniff something, like, can you give them two fucking minutes to like smell the ground before you start yanking on their fucking collar that would be wonderful if we could do that and i get it like everyone you know has their own opinion but like why even bring your dog to PetSmart if you're not gonna let him smell the sidewalk Shit like that really pisses me off when people are just so, they're so quick to get physical with their dogs and start like yanking. And don't get me wrong, there are times where Axel will like sniff the ground for like four whole minutes and I'm, you know, trying to walk him so I can get home and start cooking dinner. That's a little different than not letting him sniff for two seconds when we're in a brand new environment that he's never been in before. Have a little bit of patience. I need to figure out something to have for lunch. I might just go home and have a soup. Just go home and have a soup and some crackers so that I can start filming. Because I have a couple of videos that I want to get done this afternoon. And it's already one o'clock. So you guys really seem to like that video on the PPP loans and YouTubers and family vloggers taking them out when they obviously don't need them. In the comments of that video, so many of you shared your own experience with trying to get a PPP loan and not being able to get it because the funds ran out or just having to go through so many hurdles to get one and then you got one and it wasn't even enough to pay you know rent or lease on your home or your place of business and it really drove home the point of just how entitled and ignorant these youtubers are i hope that all of them are exposed for the greedy monsters that they are it disgusts me to think that someone that has such a robust amount of wealth would sit there and take money like that and not even think twice about it. But sadly, it's just not surprising at the end of the day what a lot of these people do in terms of just not thinking twice at the opportunity to take money from people, even if they don't need it. It is disgusting. And that's why I said like, okay, well, what can we do? Like, what can we really do to voice concern? Unsubscribe from these people, unfollow them and stop watching their videos. Okay, let's go to Nordstrom Rack and I'll be right back. Hey 
Hey guys, I'm back home. I threw in a little montage of the makeup that I found at Nordstrom Rack. I didn't buy anything, but just so you guys could see kind of what they had. So I bought two tops, this black tank, just to wear under sweaters. Most of the black tanks that I have are super like tight because I use them as undershirts. This one's a little bit less form fitting. So I figured it would be good to wear under sweaters and stuff like that, that are where you can see the tank. And then I also got this. I thought this would be cute for spring and it has a little keyhole in the back and then a split at the bottom. And it's kind of like a dirty khaki color. So I bought those and then the item that I picked up, oh they, God, they put it in this, look at this. So this is the sweater. Let me, let me put it on. So here it is on, really cute. It has like this oversized collar. It's really cozy and it has some pockets. So yeah, super cute. I'm glad that I got it. I would not wear a long sleeve shirt under this. I would just wear a tank because these sweaters, like this material is so warm. So especially if you're just in the house, for me, this is far too warm to just have a long sleeve shirt under it and all of that. It's too much but I'm happy that I have it. I'll wear it in my videos that I filmed today and you guys can see kind of what it looks like in better lighting and with a tank under it. So that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope that you guys liked it. If you did, please leave a like and a comment and if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon, bye.